Hello, today I've got a review of some PCBs from PCB Way. Uh, they keep contacting me asking if they can sponsor any projects that I'm doing and offer some circuit boards, but I keep saying there's nothing scheduled. I think PCB Way came across me because I commented on a few of Sean Hodgins' uh, projects, how good their boards look. PCB Way, um, and they've always looked good whenever I've got any boards from him. I'm a massive fan of the matte black gold ENIG and white silk screen uh, which you can see here this board is one of Sean's business cards and it's done by PCB way and it is absolutely gorgeous really like it uh, so I think PCB way spotted that I'm a big fan and they keep trying to get me to uh, work with them but I've got nothing ready uh, so they offered to send over some PCBs just so I can review them and see what they're like. So here's the box. It does say Merry Christmas on it. I didn't get it at Christmas. Uh, I actually got it in January. Uh, so I think they were just using up the boxes. Nevertheless, it is very festive and covered in PCB Way branding. So let's go over to the table and we can take a look and see what they've sent me. Uh, but before we do, uh, let's go and take a look at the website. Here is a homepage for PCB Way at pcbway.com from here you can upload your Gerbers and you can get a quote to create your circuit boards they offer various options they can even do stencils flexible PCBs um, their standard offer is five dollars for ten pieces of your PCB and they usually get that built within 24 hours and um, they've got various options uh, various offers uh, all the time if you're brand new you can get a five dollar coupon which basically makes it free as far as I can tell if you go to the instant quote page you have a wealth of information and options at your fingertips from the size of your PCB the layers the material thickness and the, this is where you can set your various colors this is where you can choose your awesome matte black white silk screen and immersion gold ENIG which just makes it look amazing uh, it looks like they're also at the moment of recording this offering free shipping and um, so that is it you would upload your Gerbers and you would get your crow and they would go off and make it and within a week or two I imagine depending on your shipping option you would have your finished PCBs with you okay so now you know who they are what they do and what they can offer and what their website looks like Let's take a look and see what they've sent me. So we've got a bunch of circuit boards, Looks like some pens, and some perf board. A uh, bit better wrapped uh, than Eric's review uh, of PCB Way. You can check it up up there somewhere. He wasn't. He was less than impressed with their packaging. That's pretty underwhelming. I think for these demo boards, they just kind of throw it in a box. Now, I've also got a lot more than his. <laughs> so, sorry about that, Eric. I think I got some uh, extra goodies, including these PCB weight pens. These are pretty cool. Maybe I need to show these on my video, like a um, some other Chinese... JLC style PCB manufacturer. Let's pop them there, see if they'll stick. These feel really nice actually. Oh, they're like matte. Well, they draw. Nice. Cool. Two free pens. Okay, so let's take a look, see what we've got. We have got a snowman. See that through there? Let's just open this guy up. I'm going to use these surgical scissors open this guy up so this is a little snowman hence the um, Merry Christmas winter wrapping uh, it's got some LEDs push push button PCB way wishes you a Merry Christmas and a very happy successful new year been designed by Norwegian Creations and on the back it's got a couple of ICs driving the LEDs I imagine these will flash and blink 
There's a good example of how PCB way can cut out very intricate shapes. We've got some internal routing as well. Got a couple of holes. So this is a white solder mask with a black P black silk screen, uh, which gives a very cool design. Really good quality text. And on the back, let's see if we can zoom in. Some kind of a little microcontroller. I'll have a take take a closer look at that. But he is very cool. Up in there. And um, this is a battery bank. I know that he actually belongs to him. I just found out. Um, yeah, let's take a look at these perf boards. So these are very unusual because you get these for very cheap and you'd actually think that you could actually get them made for you. But these are basically the standard perf board design styles that you can get. Um, it does have little PCB way signature pcbway.com you can see that and i really like these in the black these are cool uh, these aren't the uh, the matte black it's like a gloss black but yeah if you want some perf board projects and you don't want to use the standard green that you can get you can maybe get some made up um, if you saw on the website previously there's several different colors that keep the cost the same it's only the matte versions that are a bit more expensive I really like those. However, these cheap PCB manufacturing services kind of make these redundant. Um, so it's, it's usually a lot easier just to have a PCB made up. Nevertheless, he's really cool. I really like that black. It is cool. And here are some example PCBs. So this is a gloss black solder mask with a white silk screen you can see all the routing looks really good there and all the solder pads are really nice it's really good finish some very intricate routing now this is actually a capacitive touch uh, switch panel and it uses a microcontroller that you'd fit in your house part of the my sensors i've had a quick look online it's basically an online diy low power uh, wireless sensor community kind of like Zigbee Wi-Fi type uh, home sensors that uses uh, low power radios it's all very DIY this is a three capacitive touch I'm actually make some of these these are uh, these are quite cool little boards there so this is a very tiny circular cut this is a red uh, red solder mask, white silk screen. You can see the pads there, really good, really good quality. You see all the text is very well readable, very legible. Again, this is a multi sensor. Really cool, very thin as well. Yeah, nice. What's this one, so this is a yellow. Um, yellow PCB. I'm not keen on these yellow ones. They kind of look a bit sickly, like they're ill. Very odd. Uh, so this is another sensor board. We can see it's a yellow perf board. You've got a yellow solder mask and white silk screen. But yeah, it's really nice. Really good. Very thin as well. And this blue one. Take a look. Okay, so this is another my sensors circuit board. These are all uh, open source uh, designs, which I guess they can just print off without any issue, and they can send them out as demos. Might even try making some of these. Maybe you've got a 328p uh, various pads. Oh, this is like an RGBW controller. It's quite cool. I might actually make one of these quality of the traces and the solder mask and the pads it all looks really good got some intricate uh, routing going on there and the drills yeah nothing more to say than that it's really good really impressed with the quality i think they're a little bit more expensive than jlc pcb there seems to be a bit of a race to the bottom 
as far as these Chinese PCB manufacturers go. I think PCB way just seem to have a bit more of an edge on the quality and they seem a bit more reliable. So once you've gone with PCB way, you seem to always stick with them. And GLC PCB tend to have a few issues here and there, but they do seem a lot cheaper. So I think if you're prototyping, you probably go down the JLC PCB route. And if you're getting some quality production boards, maybe PCB way or mix and match, who knows? Um, so that is the review of the PCBs. Thank you very much for PCB way for sending them to me. I hope they've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video. But before you go, I want to get this guy working. So after a bit of investigation on the internet, I found out uh, that you can actually go to the Norwegian Creations website. And this guy is actually their 2018 Christmas ornament, uh, which they actually gave to PCB Way to actually give away as part of a promotion giveaway. Uh, and you basically need to solder up this battery pack into these holes, which we will do. Put on the sticky pads, power it up, and it's an AT Tiny uh, 13 or 10, I believe, which is powering these LEDs and they are supposed to blink this is a it's on a timer circuit you press this little timer and it stays on for 12 to 14 hours which is very impressive and you've got two triple a batteries powering it all so um yeah if we clear all this stuff and we will we'll give this a go all right let's try and get this guy soldered up and flashing away see if he works Following the instructions online, you've basically got to solder in the battery pack positive and you assume that is ground, which correlates the batteries going this way. I'm going to give you about three volts. Got some sticky pads. I'm going to take them off. See this PCB? It's seasonal, isn't it? A snowman. I suppose some of you guys have probably still got snow. Because here in the UK it's pretty much spring now. Although my birthday being in March, it has actually snowed several times. My birthday, which is quite fun. Right, so these guys are sticking out. Solder these. My iron is nice and hot. Give it a clean. Look at me being all professional in front of you guys. Get my monkey solder. There's a terrible joint. Hope you guys can see it, okay? This solder is terrible. But that will do for me. It's not going to win any awards. Wow. Funny, you can be absolutely amazing at solder. Do it on a camera and you can't do it for toffee. Oh, there you go. Much nicer. Okay. I'm going to move this guy out of the way before I burn myself. Bring in some snips. Wow, these fake shears are terrible. Well, these really are terrible. These are fake, famous brand shears. But wow. Ow! <gasps> Just stabbed into me. That was nice of it. Look at the state of them now. You know that wire was too thick to sniff with these. Or oh, these are utter garbage. I'll let you take a guess. So that's that done. Batteries. Let's get some batteries. In fact, before I put them in, you would think there was someone to sit on him. But if you check the website again, near the bottom, you can see that they actually have some skis that this little guy sits on. Uh, which is like a little stand and they actually hook into these holes here uh, and the skis are a little STL so if you happen to have a 3D printer you'll be able to download the STL and print them out which I have here check these little guys out these are a cool little pair of skis and the snowman's boots pretty snazzy and supposedly sits into these and so it does well that's a nice design just snaps in check that out that's pretty cool okay so moment of truth does it even work batteries in 
push the button. Hey. And that's all it does. Supposedly it flashes and stays on for 12 to 14 hours. Just uh, prop it up, turn the lights off for you. Okay. Wow. That is awesome. And I guess he stays like that for 12 hours. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Cool little ball though. I like the, uh, I like the feet. We just turn the, uh, turn the lights on. Now they do have a little programming port down the bottom here, which you can connect to and reprogram it. And you can do your own animations, etc. You want it to be a bit more blingy. But there he is. Pretty cool. Thank you very much, PCB Way.